a big November upon us as we just have about three days left in the trading month of October. So it is time to prepare for November. I want to be following up on some of the major statistical models that we have been looking at on this channel since October began and how they are likely to translate into November, seeing as they are or still remain unbroken, at least for now, at least for now. But I also want to be bringing in some other November statistics that I do believe will provide some extra light on you know what to expect but before we get to that i do want to make a bit of a major announcement actually we've renamed the crown quant automation service which is our service that allows you to create test and automate your trades to quant prime it's just a better name <laughs> it's just a better name same service however uh or the, although actually no it's not the same service because we're going to be uh, offering a few more auxiliary tools alongside of this very very soon they are being worked on in the backgrounds and uh, on our near nearly ready nearly completion nearly completed that'll give you even more statistics based around your strategies that you uh that you might want to be interested in anyways also because we have had a bit of a name change We'll do a flash sale, a flash sale until the 1st of November, because today is a November video and the code is going to be prime 50, just as you see right here, which leads us perfectly into our first chart using the actual tool right here itself to generate this data. But this is just a very, 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 very simple strategy. It's the Monday strategy, which simply opens a long on Monday at zero UTC and then close it on Tuesday at 10 a.m. UTC. And as you can see right here since 2013, or I mean, we could go even further back than this, but you know, the super early data was just so massive in terms of returns. Like, I don't think it's like super relevant to be uh, looking at, um, but we have seen basically a coin flip in terms of uh, in terms of probability of whether it's likely to close positively or negatively. But because the profit factor is quite uh, agreeable, well, it is or has given uh, a you know a net profit over time, a pretty a pretty nice net profit over time. Uh, that beautiful up and to the right smooth curve right here, or smooth-ish. I mean, it's a few times where it wasn't necessarily so, but you know, it can give you some. Um, I can give you some ideas as to, you know, the potential for today. Um, when we, whenever we look at one of these setups, however, I want to be going in over here into the performance summary and looking at the average winning trade and average losing trade first, we can see that the average winning trade has returned about 4% and the average losing trade has lost an average of just over 3%. So again, that is a favorable ratio when you're, uh, when you're slightly better than a coin flip in terms of whether you're likely to win or lose, but that can also give us a likely range for today because or well not necessarily today but between today or the open of monday and then 10 a.m on uh, on tuesday but you know for reference four percent to the upside would actually put <laughs> jesus that would put bitcoin uh, above seventy thousand bucks um at seventy and a half thousand fair enough i mean that is possible i suppose uh to the downside however giving us a bottom side of the range three percent to the downside would put bitcoin where would put bitcoin just below sixty six thousand dollars i do think um I do think that's a little bit less likely today. I think you're probably going to see more or less an inside day today. Uh, but I would be essentially remaining with my prior analysis that look, as long as Bitcoin, as long as Bitcoin is, is above last week's low, or was this last week's low? Or, yeah, I think this was last week's low. Um, this last five day low, which was 65,174. I'm looking at this as, as very likely the move, very likely the move. Um, and then also I would go as far to say now, as we do have this next weekly closure, if Bitcoin comes back down below last week's low, again, that 65,147 number, I believe it was, like that is a reversal and we're very likely going to see Bitcoin come back down and, and maybe play out the 58,000 crew again, um, which I know a lot of people are looking for. And fair enough, you know, that would be my criteria for looking for that. But until that happens, uh, it seems to me like things are more geared towards uh, perhaps early or sorry, late this week when November begins as potential for an actual breakout. Now, I lost my damn notes over here, so let me just bring them back. But this was the five-day setup. Uh, first, I just want to very quickly speak about the reconnect that we were looking for last week with that red five exponential human average. Again, very rarely does price remain that far away from that red five without reconnecting it for long. You know, one or two closures at most, and that's very, very rare to begin with. Um, and so last week, or two weeks ago, we did not see a reconnect. Last week, we did see a reconnect right now it is at 66400 so if bitcoin played at a move down there completely fine um but ultimately uh we would be expecting you know a bounce somewhere around there and to be fair i mean bitcoin's kind of, kind of already made 
about that move uh, for this, you know, for this current five day period uh, with the low at 66,850. But technically speaking, not exactly to it. So, you know, maybe there's one more stab down towards it. Um, but ultimately, I would be looking for Bitcoin again, as long as it is above this red five exponential unit average to continue to play out this strategy right here, which is it's valid until proven otherwise. And in this case, uh, any time that we've seen Bitcoin close above that red five, you know, it has been indicative of some pretty significant runs. Um, whether I give you the full history of Bitcoin or just the last uh, eight years of, of, of history, you know, the results are pretty, I mean, they speak for themselves. So, you know, this one opened a trade at 62,850 or so. Um, so about 5,000 bucks ago or yeah, some, something like that. Um, and, uh, and as of right now, we are how many days into this? And then I'll explain why that actually matters in a second, but we're about 25 days into this signal. And so far we've seen about 8%, 8% gain, um, from the open to current price. Obviously that, that, you know, that was a little bit closer to 10%, um, about a week and a half ago. But again, when we go into the performance summary here, one, the average winning trade, okay, that's way too much. Okay, we're not going to go off of the full history. We're going to go off of tw since 2018. So it's like over 100%. Like, obviously, that's not very likely. Uh, the average winning trade here, you know, over 29%. And the average amount of bars in winning trades is nine. So nine times, this is a five-day time frame, would be 45 days. So we're about around the halfway point of this, uh, of this signal, looking, you know, basically around the third week of November. And... Um, and the average amount of bars and losing trades is two. Oh, you actually can't see it down there. Sorry, let me remove my face for a moment. There you go. Or you even can't even see that because it's a little bit too low, but there you go. I can, I can assure you the average amount of bars and losing trades is two. So the, the reason why that's interesting to me is because we are obviously well past two bars here already. So this is more likely to be a winner than a loser. Now, I will say there is significant variance in the winning trades for this one in terms of returns because you know, that average is being massively brought up by some of the, you know, some phenomenal trades. I mean, let me just give you some examples uh, from them. Like more recently of this year, we saw uh, a couple right here, one being opened around 28,000, then closed at 42,000. Okay, not bad. Uh, that, I think that was about a 50% gain, by the way. <laughs> yeah, about 50% exactly. And then another one um, this year is, or sorry, the prior one was last year, but this one this year, a big one, um, was at 43,000 bucks, closing at uh, almost 65,000 bucks. Again, another probably 50% gain or yeah, over 50% gainer right there. Um, but for a lot of the time, you know, just kind of chops around small, small wins, small losses. So this strategy is designed to is designed to jump onto those major trending moves very early and hold onto them um, for, you know, the majority of their move. As you see, I mean, these are two perfect examples right here. We haven't really seen many other major trending moves for this year. So, you know, naturally wouldn't really see that on this time frame. to be fair. Um, but with this, with, you know, with this one open right here, I mean, this is, this, this is a candidate for one of these, um, I suppose. And that brings us into late November. The reason why that is relevant is we can go ahead and reference our November statistics right in over here. We can see that November has been more of a positive month for Bitcoin, nine out of 14 November's closing positively for, you know, 60, about 64 and a quarter percent. Um, uh, strike rate for just a positive closing November. The average win return for those uh, positive gaining Novembers was about 21%. The median was close to about 12.5%. So again, variance there. Some really big Novembers and then some smaller Novembers, uh, obviously. Um, and, and in the case that we have seen losers, I mean, it's been a pretty nasty losing month as well, losing an average of about 17.5% or 17 and a quarter percent. Um, so, you know, obviously it's a long time left to go until we even get to November, but I am going to be, I'm going to be biased towards the upside one, because November is more likely to close positively two because of the five day setup right here, which brings us into November and three, the monthly stochastic oscillator is about to cross the upside for the first time freshly since January of 2023, assuming that Bitcoin finishes this month out in the next three days above 65,850. So, yeah, I, I think it's more likely. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but I do think it's more likely. Um, also, another major thing, right? I mean, <laughs> people really fucking get pissed off when I say this, but I do not see this market going past, like, the second that it breaks new all-time highs, I do not see it going much further for, like, 
six months at most probably brings us into the end of q1 of 2025 people fucking hate that statement i get so much shit for this all the time it's so crazy look you're uh, you can have your own opinion it's okay you can disagree with me it's okay i'm just giving my opinion but look you don't see things stay up in this region for this long and this is just one oscillator i mean rsi is going to be uh, you know another good one to be uh looking at as well and that's already you know it's 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 already going to be an issue you know around that time so i, I think it's gonna be difficult to kind of keep things up for for a very very long time but you know does that mean we get a very explosive uh move probably yes um anyways i think that is that a good place for me to leave it off yeah sure it's good enough again all of this is invalidated if bitcoin even comes back down below last five day low 65 174 below there especially on a daily closing basis uh this is gonna look like it wants to come back down to 57 58 59 thousand bucks something like that um so until that happens though i'm you know just just going off of these setups and whatnot here I, I'm, I'm looking further to the upside and that's my reasoning for it you can agree with it you can also disagree with it it's all good and we'll leave on that again just quick reminder that uh for the next three days we'll be having I didn't even talk about how big the sale would be. 50% off of the first payment <laughs> for the for the Quant Prime service right in over here. So you can try it out, uh, see if that is relevant to your interests. You know, create your own strategies, test them, literally getting the results, I don't know, in fucking seconds, usually. Sometimes if you're doing like super sophisticated ones, it can take, you know, 20 seconds or so. Um, definitely beats doing it by fucking hand, I'll tell you that. And then also you can use it to automate your trades as well. Anyways. Good place maybe leaving off. As always, wish you the best, best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.